Guys, I'm making pan-fried potatoes today. I don't know about you, but I grew up on pan-fried potatoes. But when I got older and started making them myself, I would burn them to a crisp. So today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect, delicious, crispy pan-fried potatoes. My name is Carrie with eatonadime.com and we are going to have a lot of fun today. You can get the full recipe. I have it linked below in the description or just go to eatonadime.com and you can search pan fried potatoes where you will find that recipe but you'll also find a lot of other delicious recipes that we post every single day for you. Okay guys, it's time to show you how to make the best pan fried potatoes. First, you will begin by washing your russet potatoes. Today for this recipe, we are using five medium-sized russet potatoes. You can use a different kind of potato like a Yukon Gold or a red potato, but I really like using russet potatoes for my pan-fried potatoes. Next, you will begin to peel your potatoes. Now, on pan-fried potatoes, you actually do not have to peel them and you can leave the peels on. However, for today, we're going to go ahead and peel them. I am using my trusty garbage bowl. I'll have a link for that as well, so that way it makes cleanup a breeze. You have a few tips on peeling potatoes. When I peel a potato, I like to peel the sides first using long strokes to get it done quickly. Once you have rotated the potato and peeled all the sides, then you work on the end. I grip it and work on one end getting all the peels off. And then when that's finished, you just flip the potato and do the last end. And this is the easiest way to get potatoes peeled really, really fast. Now that all the potatoes are peeled, it's time to slice. Now, I highly recommend that you sharpen your knife before you slice your potatoes. It will just make it so much easier. I have my favorite knife and sharpener linked below. It's super easy to sharpen. And then just a quick wipe with a damp towel and it's going to make slicing so much easier than if you're using a dull knife. Now today we're going to slice these about an eighth of an inch thick, so pretty thin. If you would also like to, you can use a mandolin slicer to slice your potatoes. That will mu go much faster and it'll make sure that the potatoes are evenly sliced. When slicing your potato, I just hold the edge of the potato and then quickly run my knife through. Once I start running out of room for my fingers, that's when I flip my hand over to where my fingers and my thumb are on opposite sides and then I gently run my knife through so that way I still have control of being able to make those thin slices without taking a risk of cutting any of my fingers. Continue slicing all of the potatoes until they are all sliced. Remember you can use a mandolin slicer if you'd want. Now I'm going to just put these on a plate ready for when I'm ready to pan fry them. If you wanna make these ahead of time, you can soak them in water and that will prevent your potatoes from turning brown. You can place that bowl of water that the potatoes are submerged in. You can either put them in the refrigerator or you can leave them out. And that way you can just are ready to use them. Just simply drain them and pat them dry before you're ready to pan fry them. Next, we're going to cut the onion. You're going to want to dice up your onion. And I actually have a video on the best way to dice an onion perfectly every single time. But all you need to do is run your knife through the onion, leaving the edge uncut. So right now I'm just running my knife and making the slices. But as you can see, it's still hold together because I'm not going all the way through. Next, turn the onion and then use your knife to follow the curve of the onion and as you're slicing it, you're making the perfect dices. Once you get about three quarters of the way over, you'll fold it over and then continue slicing it. When you get to the edge where it isn't been cut all the way through, you just quickly run your knife through it and you have perfectly diced onions every single time. Now it's time to heat up the skillet. I am using a cast iron skillet because it is amazing to cook with and is so great for handling high heat. First, we're going to drizzle in about three tablespoons of vegetable oil, or you could also use avocado oil. 
Once the oil is hot, it's time to add in our sliced potatoes. You want to spread them out evenly throughout the cast iron and then cover. We're going to allow it to cook for 10 to 15 minutes or until the potatoes are cooked halfway through. You'll see the potatoes will begin to brown, but you'll want to continuously stir them, removing the lid and then adding the lid back. By adding the lid, you're allowing the potatoes to cook faster and steaming them while they're starting to brown. I have been making pan fried potatoes for years. This is a traditional recipe that I grew up making and I love it. So this is my tip. You want to steam those potatoes first. So we're gonna to continue to do that until they are about halfway done and allowing them to brown. Don't forget that you can get the full recipe with the nutritional information and you can print out the recipe and save it by going to eatingonadime.com and searching pan fried potatoes or I have the link in the description as well. Once those potatoes are beginning to become fork tender, it's time to add in the onions. The reason we don't add them in at first is because onions will burn easily. So we're gonna add in those chopped onions and we're gonna add in our salt and pepper. We're going to do about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Stir to combine that and then we're going to allow it to cook. This time we're not going to cover the potatoes. We're actually going to leave the lid off so that way the potatoes can get nice and crispy. So we already got them tender, so now you're going to cook them to the desired doneness and crispiness that you would like. This will take approximately eight to 10 minutes. Pan fried potatoes are easy and delicious every single time. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. I am a big fan of pan fried potatoes. But before I dig into this deliciousness we have going on here, I wanna give you a couple tips. Now, in case you didn't catch on, you're, we're basically steaming the potatoes first. So that's why we keep the lid on and we're going to cook the potatoes and get them nice and cooked through. And then when we remove the lid and we keep cooking it, that's how you get this delicious crispiness that you get on the edges of your potatoes, that golden brown yumminess with a couple extra crispy spots that are my favorite. So if you're having trouble and the potatoes are not like getting cooked fast enough for you when you're steaming them, you can always add like a quarter cup of water into your potatoes. Now, don't do that immediately because we put oil in the pan and hot oil and water do not like each other. So you don't wanna do that. But if they're cooking and they're not cooking quite as fast enough for you, just throw a little bit of water. But make sure you remove that lid so that way they get nice and crisp. Okay, we gotta take a break. I gotta take a little bite. Mm, I can't wait anymore. That's so good. Big fan. Now, I traditionally eat this as a side dish so i love it with like grilled chicken steak but a lot of people eat this for breakfast um you know kind of like a hash brown pan fried potatoes um you do you if you want to make this a one pot dish you could easily add in some brown sausage or hamburger meat or even leftover chicken would be delicious as well if you're going to do the sausage or ground beef what i would do is brown the sausage or the ground beef first then remove it from the pan make the recipe and then toss it back in towards the end and you have yourself a one pot dish. Now, we give you all of these tips and tricks inside the recipe on eating on a dime and I have the full recipe linked below with the nutritional information, even a way for you to add your groceries to your shopping cart and even a way for you to save it and pin it. Um, so you're gonna love it. So make sure you check it out below as well. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe because I don't want you to miss any more of our family friendly recipes. I mean, like, are you even doing life if you're not eating pan fried potatoes? I mean, look how easy they were. So like and subscribe so you don't miss any more. And I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends. Ah. Oh, no.